Yo guys, it's your boy FS Snipes. Okay, now we are going to be talking about FIFA 23 PC. Now, I have a few issues with the FIFA 23 PC. Sorry, um, I have, I've written a few notes and everything. Um, firstly, the game optimization. The game optimization is not up there. It's not good. Um, I know a lot of people have had issues in the beginning of the game. I don't know if they still have where they couldn't run the game properly. I know that last year, FIFA 22, I was struggling to run it. I had a 1050 Ti, an i5 7500 at the time, eight gigabytes of RAM, so maybe that was a downfall. Um, and it was like, it was all right. It was like a middle range um, computer, obviously. Now I have a nice uh, 3060 Legion i5 um, laptop. That I'm using and that's perfectly that runs everything smoothly but I just know that overall there's there's some issues with it and it's just I'm even getting to a point now where with this game I can't even launch the game like b between Origin uh, Steam and EA Play I'm not able to launch the game at all I don't know why it, it's happening it's ever since this new update I don't know if you guys have any fixes for me, but like if I use Steam, then it just runs in the background without actually showing me that it's running, if that makes sense. So like my Steam icon will say that I'm running the game, but there'll be nothing on the screen. Then if I go into Origin and I launch it from Origin, I obviously even use run administrator. That, didn't re that doesn't work normally. It d doesn't work right now. I did re just reinstall the game and um and try again also with origin it's a bit weird because i have to like for some reason because i, I pre-order the game so now i have to do this like pre-order i uh, don't they download the i'll tell you right now download the ea play pro edition as well as i have to download the regular game and the ultimate well yeah you know, the ultimate edition or, or the regular game just to play it and I don't know why that's the issue also when it comes to doing the updates I'm always having an issue with origin and origins keeps telling me that I need to re-download the game I need to re-download the game we need to re-download the game um EA play whenever I use that obviously origin has to be closed completely and whenever I do that obviously I because Origin starts starts on my computer, right? As soon as my, my laptop launches, it loads uh, straight away. So then I have to obviously take uh, close that completely, open up EA Play, try it in EA Play. But of course it's in beta and so it's not going to work properly. And sometimes it gives me an issue saying that like it's been uh, launched from a different... Um, it was launched from a different app like a different application which makes no sense because all i did was just normally like load it so and i loaded it onto the ea um the ea play and for some reason it's still giving me issues with that and yeah it just seems like it's such an issue with just launching the game i don't know how a billion dollar company could not just get that right with like launching the game it literally makes no sense they don't like us. They, I mean, the reason they, I don't even understand why they excluded us from the market if we're going to be versing them anyways. Like if we're going to reverse PS5 and X, the newest Xbox, I can't remember, I think it's Xbox One X or something like that. Um, why is it that we are in two different markets? Because now our market's going to be more expensive, but then we're versing you guys anyways. So that just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, it's almost just unfair. Like it's almost like all our players are just worth as much as a, the. At the same time, if you pack someone, it's worth more. But then, if you're trying to grind your way, it, it's, it, it's forty thousand coins for one player more difficult. Or, I mean, Zambrotta is like almost double the price it normally is. Like on the PC versus the uh, the console, you know, it just makes no sense to me. I suppose the rarity does, but like it's still. I don't, I don't understand why we aren't in the same market if we're reversing each other in the end of the day. And I know you can turn that off, so 
I always keep it on because I like versing anyone really. I don't, yeah, I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> also, there's probably easier people on the consoles too. Um, also, I just want to clarify. I have only bought these two games on the PC. Every other year I did before from 2013 was on the Xbox. Uh, either the Xbox One or the Xbox 360. And yeah, I, I mean, I've never had any issues with launching the game on those ones, except for the sometimes they use the dashboard on the Xbox uh, Xbox One. If you guys remember, like FIFA 20 or FIFA 19, they used to be very like funky with loading times. Um, but yeah, it's so weird how they cannot get this right with um, the PC edition. I do recommend that if you can... If you do have a if you do have a uh, newer generation console, rather get FIFA on there. But if you don't, I guess, and you can run it on the PC, then maybe you could. I just have issues with it, and I don't understand why the issues I have are so big. You know, I haven't been able to um, get on the game for the last two three days, which means I can't do my rivals uh, to qualify, or then I can't do my qualifiers which means I can't create that type of content. Instead, I have to just do pack content for my shorts, which, by the way, thank you guys so much for the support that I've been getting in the last few days. It's kind of crazy in comparison to what it normally is. A lot of you guys um, might not know that I've been I've been doing YouTube for six years, and yeah, it just means a lot in the last few days. Um, of course, it was different games I did as well, and I didn't put in as much effort as I do now, which is cool that I'm doing it now but um yeah I just don't understand why those are becoming issues and also anti-cheat was a huge thing in the beginning of the game people were not able to load because the anti-cheat I had this the same issue I think you had to go do administrator I even tried the BIOS thing where I went to my BIOS and I had to change something um turns out I didn't need to in the end so I re-changed it again and I just don't get why this issue is an issue like that I'm having with not being able to install it. Um, but yeah, I just, sorry guys, I just wanted to have kind of like a rant because I'm kind of tired of dealing with this terrible, these three applications are so bad when it comes to FIFA. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys subscribe, like the video. We're trying to get 150 subscribers by the end of this month. I can't even talk properly. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. And yeah, hopefully there'll be some content out soon. And um, yeah, just I'll see you guys in the next few days. Also, World Cup is happening really soon. I can't wait for that. Um, I'm going to be doing some live reaction to games and stuff like that. If you guys want to go and check that out. Um, my Twitch will be down below. And um, I did. I used to have another Twitch channel Basically, I can't I can't retrieve that account. It's okay. It happens. Um, so there'll be a new one. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Peace and bye.